everybody, it's Amanda and it's Thursday and it's time for my grocery haul. I spent a lot this week, like double our new grocery budget. Double, double. I know. I want to make an excuse, but I'm not going to. <laughs> because the truth of the matter is I went shopping, I decided to stock up and I'm like, you know what? I can afford it this week. So I'm going to. So that's really what it was about. And besides that, if you don't know, Rick and I went and saw like the Game Changers movie on Monday. Uh, we, we posted about it on Instagram. It's, it's about vegan food and I'm like super inspired to try all these vegan things, but like I wanted to stock up on a couple of vegan items, which can be pricey. And, uh, and we got a bunch of fruit and veg and that's that in addition to the stuff that we actually needed. So that's, that's where that went. But you know what? That's cool because I can afford it and that makes me happy. So, but I'm still sharing with you because I share with you all my grocery hauls and I think you will find when we get to the end of the year, when we do all of our end of year totals, we're still going to be under budget for the year. I can almost guarantee that. So anyway, let me show you my totals. I'll show you my receipts. We'll look at what I bought. And then if you want to judge me in the comments, people, you can. But if you want to support me in the comments, thank you. <laughs> so, <laughs> anyway, here are the totals right here. Discount grocery. I didn't find very many good deals today. I think that contributed to it too. $7.17. Ingles, I spent $45.11. And Aldi, I spent $44.40 for a total of $96.68. Of course, our new budget is $50. So I'm probably not going shopping next week or if I do I'm going to keep it minimal just to just to balance that out but anyway let me show you the receipts and then I'll show you what's on the table okay so here are my receipts and you can see all the 4440 and of course over here at Ingles is kind of there on the bottom 4511 and then over here at the discount store I spent seven dollars and 17 cents here's what I bought I'm gonna turn on the light because it's looking kind of dark I don't know if the light helped very much but I tried anyway um, let's start in the front with just a few things I got at the discount store. Well, let's just say right off the top, you can take a few dollars off that total because these actually came from my uh, personal item budget, but I did pick up uh, 189 Joy. It's a very large thing of uh, dish soap. And then they have these um, hand soap dispensers, buy one, get one free. Well, if you watched my Dollar General 70% off clearance haul, I got a bunch of soap refills and I didn't have an actual hand soap container, so I was waiting for a good deal so I could have one for guests. So yay, now we're gonna have hand soap for a while. Anyway, these were two for a dollar, good price. Then right here, grape tomatoes were 50 cents. A bag of pre-cut slaw was 50 cents, which we have a lot of slaw, so that was, I love to have it pre-cut, it's so much less work. But anyway, <laughs> then I grabbed these um, Gardein Homestyle home Beefless Tips only a dollar fifty and I grabbed two of them right there and that was it that is my seven dollars but I mean hey if you're gonna pack a lot of stuff in seven dollars two bags of Gardein some veg and some cleaning products I mean that's that's a lot of good stuff for seven dollars so high five me um, anyway <laughs> then let's talk about Aldi because that was my next stop back here you guys know and I saw your great recipes Rick has got a hankering for pineapple lately. So they had it for $1.65 and it smelled so good. I was like, we've got to get the pineapple. So grab the pineapple. Um, Brianna requested fish. So $5.99 for a two pound bag of tilapia. Uh, spinach is a standard thing here. So $1.19, $1.19. Right here are some green peppers. I'm actually flying through green peppers right now. This was $1.89. And they have these bags of the Honeycrisp apples on sale for $1.99. So I grabbed a bag of that as well. And then also $2.69 on sale, a bag of mandarins. So lots of good fruit. They also had these Baby Bellas on sale for $0.99. Cents. So I grabbed two of those. And I feel like you should see my toes because they're cute and sparkly. Yes, anyway, so back over here, um, peanut butter was $2.19. 204 for the butter. Sour cream was 89 cents. Cream cheese, I got two of those. They were 79 cents. Um, the cheddar cheese and mozzarella cheese were $1.69 each. I grabbed my meatless meatballs. I'm really trying to avoid things with soy in them 
so I'm not eating them as quickly as I was, but the, I did grab myself a bag because I do love these, and until I figure out a great recipe, I'm just going to use them for right now. $3.89. I grabbed uh, Rick some uncured beef franks for $2.69. Diced tomatoes and green chilies were $0.45. Cents. I got two cans. I got three cans of corn for $0.38. Cents. Two cans of black beans for $0.49. Cents. Back over here, I grabbed some chili powder for $0.95. Cents. And then I spent $2.29 on Parmesan cheese. So we're running through that like crazy. Anyway, that's um, what we spent at Aldi and the discount store. So everything left over here is from Ingles, where we also got good produce deals. I want to add this too. Um, Rick had asked me to get coffee filters, and I had forgotten them until we got to Ingles, and then I grabbed them for $1.48. So I spent that non-food item as well. I have gotten Rick this, uh, Dave's Killer Bread. He has tried it and he likes it and one thing I know you know Rick's trying to be low carb since he um, has been diagnosed diabetic so I just want to point out on here while I'm talking about it that it has 12 carbs per slice minus the three grams of dietary fiber so that's nine net carbs per slice so that's actually a pretty good um, pretty good option for him so we have this, which was $4.44 on sale, and that way he has an option that's different than the lavash bread, which he has been eating. So the lavash bread is kind of similar. If you don't know, I'm going to show you right on here, it's 8 minus 2. It's also 6 net carbs, which they actually have it laid out right here. So, um, so he's been having a lot of lavash, and I thought with the Dave's bread it would be an option for him. So this was $2.99. And this is 444 and by the way in case you're wondering about ounces this is nine ounces and this is 20 ounces so by the ounce this is actually a better deal for him so i'm glad to have some options for him and then look yay some vegan options all right so i haven't tried much in the way of vegan cheese and watching all of those recipes that folks had on that movie i was like i need to try some vegan cheese so this one right here is dairy and soy free. You can see so, it right here, vegan, gluten free, dairy free, soy free, non-GMO. So I was gonna try this one just to see if I liked it, if I could, you know, do something with that. Anyway, and then I got, the, oh, by the way, this was $6.48. So it was a little pricey, I'm gonna treat it gingerly. But thankfully I'm the only one eating it, so it should last a while. Um, field roast was on sale for $4.98, so also not too bad. I mean, it's essentially like $1.25 per sausage, so that's not too shabby. It was $1.13 for the bananas, $1.99 for a bag of red potatoes, $1.99 for this lovely bag, which has cauliflower, broccoli, and some carrots, which are kind of hidden around here. The kale, you guys, that was on sale for $2.98. Buy one, get one free. So we're going to have a lot of kale this week. But that's cool because, you know, I love kale. And then the meat. So Rick, I'm trying to keep the beef in the house because we actually have loads of chicken and ground turkey and turkey sausage and fish and <laughs> other things. I don't, I can't even remember what all we have. But $9.44 for the beef. And this, this I, once I break this up, this should last us a good while. And then I got a roast this time because they were on sale um, so it was $6.26 for this roast, and I was very happy to get that. If I wasn't already so much over, I probably would have gotten another roast. I'm actually kind of thinking maybe I will get another roast, because once I take the non-food items off, I probably have another $6 to make me write it an even hundred. That's two weeks of groceries. I don't know. I might do it. I'll let you know how that goes. But anyway, um, it's such a good deal. I don't want to pass up on it. So that is what we purchased this week. I said we, it's what I purchased. Rick's not purchasing, Rick's just eating. But uh, so far, so good with everybody cooking. People are actually on board in my, like Brianna's really excited. She's been looking up recipes. Brian's been excited. Rick was less excited. He was less excited. But um, <laughs> I think the other day I had, um, I left out, I had on the menu, oh, and I didn't put a menu up yet. I'll have to get that to you. I put on the menu, steak, baked potatoes, because I knew he knew how to make those, and veg. 
I thought it was such an easy menu. But I had some leftover chili from the day before, and he decided rather than actually cook something else, he fried the steak and made and just heated up the chili. And was and it was just him and Brian that night. And actually, I think it was Brian's night to cook, but Rick decided he was gonna, you know, go ahead and cook first because he was home. And I guess he couldn't wait. But anyway, so he fried up the steak and heated up the chili and was like, this is good. <laughs> so I came home and I asked Brian, I said, how was the steak and potatoes? He said, it was steak and chili. Whatever. They're eating. They're getting plenty. Everybody's good. Brian, like I said, is excited about it. Brianna's excited about it. They're pinning things. They're, they're thinking about nutrition, which I appreciate now that they're older. Because we used to actually do this a little bit when they were younger just to have them practice learning to cook. And when they were younger, it was just about what they wanted to eat. But now everybody's much more conscious about their nutrition and I, I definitely think that's kind of weighing into the decisions. And I will say this too, it's nice that our budget has, has expanded to the point where we can buy things that fit our dietary requirements because not everybody can do that. Not everybody can do that and I appreciate that we can right now. So I just I just want to say that. It's good to be grateful. It's good to be thankful. It's good to appreciate it because you know what? Sometimes people take for granted the fact that they can buy what they prefer, what they would like to have, even what works with their dietary needs. Not everybody can do that. So just take a moment and be grateful. So I'm going to get a menu plan up. I have it's I have some things I gotta do. <laughs> so I don't know how quick I'm gonna make it happen, but I will get you a menu plan. It's gonna be on that board and you will see it here in a minute. Okay guys, it's really late. I had to do a bunch of stuff, but here's my menu plan. Now I don't know if you can see this, I'm gonna bring this a little bit closer. Fajita soup for lunch on Thursday for dinner, roast chicken, potatoes, and kale, okay? By the way, I'm filming on Wednesday, okay. Friday, burgers, dinner, hot dogs, chili, and coleslaw, which normally on Fridays, I go out with Brianna with stuff with people with our homeschool group, but this week, Brian's going to take her, so I'm going to be with Rick alone, so I have a veggie dog, and he's going to have regular dogs, and it's going to be great, so, and by the way, I, I'll have vegan versions of these, anyway, hot dogs and chili, leftovers for lunch, because if I'm going to fry you know, a few hot dogs for Rick, I'm just going to fry them all, and then he can have some for lunch. Curry for everybody on Saturday. Leftover curry on Sunday. Tortilla pizzas Sunday night, because I want something easy. Uh, burgers on Monday. Tacos with ground turkey Monday night. Uh, leftover regular burgers on Tuesday. Uh, white chicken chili in the crock pot at Brian's request Tuesday night. And leftover chili on um, lunch on Wednesday, and then steak, potatoes, and veg on Wednesday night. I had to look again. So many things in my head right now. And just so you know, I'm going to show you the fajita soup that I made tonight so you can see what they're going to have tomorrow. I know it's dark, so it was late at night. You can't really see it, but these are all the leftovers from the fajita soup that I made tonight. So this is what the fam had. And this is gonna be lunch for tomorrow. And I made tacos. I had a bunch of taco shells, but I didn't have any um, tortilla chips. So we just heated up the taco shells and they crunched them up in their soup. And it worked out really well. And yes, I will add that to my list of videos I need to make, because I know you're gonna want that recipe. I know you're gonna want it. And it wasn't hard at all. But anyway, all right, that is it. Thanks for hanging out with me. Come back next Thursday and you can see what we do. Maybe I'll go grocery shopping. Maybe we'll pantry shop. I don't know what we're doing. I was thinking we're going to Homesteaders of America conference in a couple weeks and I really need to start kind of like eating everything out of the fridge. So I think we might be heading in that direction anyway. So a little bit, you know, if we don't do a grocery haul next week or we do a tiny one, it'll work out really well. So anyway, that's it. Thanks for hanging out with me. See you guys next time. Bye. Hey, thanks for watching. I'm really glad you came to visit us here at the Fundamental Home. Make sure if you enjoyed this video that you click the like button and also click subscribe right below me for more videos coming into your inbox all the time. 
And also, if you enjoy social media, we've got links up at the top here for Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Pinterest, all the other fun things. And check out thefundamentalhome.com for more information about what we're doing all the time and how we do it, because there's way more details there. And uh, here, over to the right, we have some videos that I recommend. So thanks again for coming by, and we'll see you next time. Bye.